Hey guys, good morning, happy Friday, yay! We may or may not have intruders. I've got animals all over my bedroom. All over my bedroom, happy Friday, guys. I wanted to share this with you. It's a coaching, it came from a coaching call that I did yesterday, which turned into a coaching training that I did into my training group, which has just bloomed into something that I think is an aha moment that so many of us need to have. It is the one mindset shift. If I could just give you, like if you're like, Megan, just give me one, one golden nugget that could really honestly change my business. This mindset shift is crucial, you guys, crucial. Hit share. Get this out there. Share this into your team. Share this onto your timeline. Um, share this wherever you can share it. I want to get the word out because this can make all the difference in your business. Not only that, it can grow you a massive team. On the flip side, it might just be what's holding you back. It might just be that wall that you're hitting in your business right now. Um, excuse the crazy cats. It's, you know, it's the crazy time before nap time. All right, so that's where we are. It's mid-Friday morning. I am in that phase of I'm fitting to get ready. I'm fitting to go get ready. You know, we say here down in the down in the south, I'm fixing to go get ready. I haven't gotten ready yet. Just kind of cleaned up, pre-clean up. I don't know. Y'all know what I mean, women. You get ready to get ready. That's where I am. So I thought I'd come hang out with you guys. Good morning. I know, B. Yay, I can't wait. I cannot wait for Dallas. I just, I love these get-togethers. Ellie, say hello. Ellie says hello. Y'all do me a favor. I'm going to get right into it. But I'm going to ask you, like I always do, because I like to hear, I like to interact with you guys. While I get into it, I want you to drop me one word or a phrase, wherever your comfort level is. Let me know how your Friday's going. Give me a word. Give me an emoji. Give me a phrase. Give me a, an affirmation. How is your Friday going? And let's, I know she's distracting, and I'm sure the other one's going to hop up and attack her. Let's get into this. Okay. Across the industry, this is a major struggle. This is holding so many people back. It is. And when I see people that I coach or when I see people on my team let go of this mindset, I just see them blossom and flourish. And I see people stepping into success for the first time. And I see people begin to grow massive organizations. And I see teams who were struggling begin to come together as a true tribe. And it all comes down to one mindset, just one. Good morning, you guys. Hey, Sandra. Good morning, Katie. What's that mindset? When you enter this wonderful, beautiful world of network marketing, and this holds true for any kind of entrepreneurship, okay? This holds true for any kind of entrepreneurship. When you, though, specifically enter the world of network marketing, and guys, if you are in network marketing, drop me a one. Let me see who of my friends watching are in network marketing. Drop me a one after you tell me how you feel. If you can drop this mindset, you will see doors open left and right. Okay, you ready for it? When I first say it, you're going to go, duh, but we're going to expound on it because you guys are struggling with it, I promise you, and I have been there. you got to drop the 9 to 5 mindset, you guys. You have absolutely got to drop the 9 to 5 mindset. When you enter network marketing or when you enter any kind of thing, entrepreneurial, hey, Daniel, you have got to force yourself to drop those 9 to 5 habits. You no longer have a boss. You no longer are a boss. And I think that this industry, I mean, I, this industry is beautiful, I love it, but I think the verbiage that we use in this industry sets up that mindset. It kind of reinforces the employee-employer relationship, right? You have an upline, you have a downline, you know, and these, these phrases reinforce that whole someone above, someone below, so that's like a boss employee, and it kind of keeps that relationship going, you guys. I want you to get rid of that, okay? I want you to get rid of that upline-downline mentality. Your business partners. And I had this conversation with my team yesterday, and so many people had an aha moment. Guys, drop the up, the up line, down line, sponsor. Um, it's just holding you into that nine to five mentality. You need to look at everyone across your team as a business partner, right? Because when you enter network marketing, you have bought yourself a virtual franchise. You have bought yourself a business. You have bought, let that set with you. Do you agree with me? Let me see some, some hearts. You bought yourself a business, you guys. You didn't go put, fill out a job application and get interviewed and get hired and all of that. You bought yourself a business. Now, everyone on your tribe, upline, downline, and we're getting rid of that verbiage. That's going away. It just, it, it doesn't serve us. Your business partners are there to be a part of your journey. So I want to talk to both parts and uplines. I want to talk to you first. I want to talk to you first. And you may, you may have experienced this before. Have you ever felt a disconnect with your team? 
Have you ever felt like, oh, I just feel like we're not connected. I just feel like we don't have this gel that I've seen in so many other teams. I just feel like we don't have this momentum. I just feel like we don't have this family. I just don't understand why, why they aren't doing. I just don't understand why they're not showing up in our group, um, you know, in our groups or in our trainings. I don't understand why, you know, all these things. It boils down to, I don't understand why they're not performing. I don't understand why my team's not performing. What am I doing wrong? I'm leading by example. I'm going to assume that you are leading by example. And this is in this scenario, we're going to assume you're leading by example. You're getting out there. You're working your business every single day. You're working your business every day. You're showing up. Your personal sales are great. You're recruiting people. So you are leading by example. So you're like, oh, what else? I don't understand. What else can I do? I want you to step back. And you don't have to answer here because this is something that's in your heart and in your mind. And maybe you need to sit on it for a few days. Maybe you're going to get mad at me first. I don't know. But usually when there's a strong reaction to what I'm about to say, you need to do some soul searching. So I want you to step back and I want you to think. How are you treating your team? How are you treating and thinking of your team? Do you think of them as there to work for you? Do you think of them as your your like possessive your people do you think of them as honest to goodness objects do you think of them as what they can do for you why aren't they performing for you why aren't they stepping up for you why aren't they showing up for you why aren't they plugging into the team why aren't they going for for um challenges i put out a challenge nobody goes if you're treating your team like employees and I know that it's coming, it's not even coming from a place of thinking about that. You may not even realize it until you sit down and, and really do some soul searching. But if you're treating your team like employees and you're giving them tasks like employees and you're keep cracking the whip like employees and you're keeping yourself above and separate like employees, you're going to have a huge disconnect. You're going to have a huge disconnect. And so many leaders that I talk to have an aha moment later. They didn't even realize they were doing it. It's a habit. They're like, I'm just trying to help these people succeed. I'm just trying to help these people reach their goals. I feel responsible for their goals. And, but then they slip into that boss mode. I feel responsible for your goals. And all of a sudden, we're punching a time clock. And we're asking people to you know, give us their numbers. And we're saying, give me your goals. And we're saying, what are you doing to get there? And we're saying, how are your sales? How is your recruiting? And it becomes very much an employer relationship. And people didn't join this industry to punch a time clock. So I want you as uplines, first of all, if you feel a disconnect for your team, step back. What is your relationship with them? Your relationship ultimately should be business partners. I don't care if I'm your upline, your downline, your sideline. If we're in the same tribe, we are business partners. How can we better ourselves on this journey? We're running buddies. We both body virtual franchise and we can benefit from each other's experience and knowledge. We are business partners. Okay? Uplines. That's you. Downlines. And again, we're going to get rid of these words, so I'm using the heck out of them. If, if you have just entered this beautiful industry, you've just entered this beautiful industry, or maybe you've entered a new company, or maybe whatever. You're here. You're here. You've joined network marketing, and so you have joined an upline. Yes. Thank you, Denise. We work together. Yes. Gosh, yes. Um, Servant-driven leadership. That is my heart of all hearts. Servant-driven leadership. But you've just entered the industry. Okay. You've joined an upline. My upline, which again, that verbiage says, the person above me, which puts that mental picture in our head, it's like a boss. The person above me. The, yeah, get rid of that. Okay. The person you joined in this industry, great. Okay. But you stay attached to that nine to five mentality. Okay, well, okay, my upline needs to tell me what to do. My upline needs to um, walk me through everything. My upline needs to keep me accountable. My upline is responsible for my success. Oh, I'm struggling because my upline didn't do this and didn't do that and didn't do this. And gosh, I wish I just joined another team because I see this team over here, they're rocking it. And my upline didn't do this. My upline didn't do that. My upline didn't do this or that or this or that. And, and they're not getting me to success. They're not getting me to success. Guys, you join a wonderful person in this industry, absolutely. Again, guys, you didn't join a boss. You didn't fill out an application. You didn't get hired into a position. You bought a business. And you chose a business partner to join. Business partner. Takeaway upline. You chose a business partner. And even bigger than that, you chose an entire tribe to join. 
You're not punching a clock every day. You're not punching a clock every day. Your upline, again, hate that word, your upline isn't going to come knock on your door and be like, oh, you didn't show up today. Is everything okay? Oh, you want to use PTO? Okay, well, we'll just use PTO and we'll see you tomorrow. If you don't show up, you don't get fired. You don't get written up. You don't take sick time. You don't take sick leave. You don't blame your business partner for the lack of your success. When you don't show up, your business doesn't grow. That's on you. That's on you. And people struggle there. It's really hard, especially when you're new to this industry. It's so hard because you're like, I'm used to having an alarm clock and having someone get me up. And I'm used to going into an office and I'm used to being given tasks to complete that I know that I'm doing a good job. And it's really hard to break that mindset. And when you join a really good tribe, and I hope that you all do, when you join a good tribe and a good company, there is training in place for sure. There are daily tasks. There are fast starts. There is a structure to work within, and there's some phenomenal training. But guess what? Your upline isn't there to like pull you through every step and go, okay, you ready? Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, check in when you're done. Check in when you're done, and I'm going to give you a gold star, and I'm going to go next. No, you bought a business, you guys. And if your upline's like me, I assume if you bought a business, you're ready to get to work. I'm going to plug you into some phenomenal tools. I'm going to plug you into some phenomenal trainings. I'm going to make sure you understand exactly our goal and our game plan and our, our business partnering the first 30 days. We're going to get you through some fast starts. You're going to learn about the business. I'm going to make sure you know where all your resources are. I'm going to make sure that I know what, what are your goals. You know, what's your kind of love language? What's your color personality? Because I want to partner with you, but I don't want to supervise you. I'm not here to supervise you. I'm here to run the business that I bought. And I'm hoping that you're here to be a business partner and a running buddy with me so we can do this thing together. Right? We can do this thing together. I want you guys to throw away the Burbage upline downline. Throw it away. It doesn't do us any good. It just, it puts that whole level thing and it goes back to the nine to five job. Throw away. Please throw away forever. Tell your teams we're throwing away the verbiage upline downline. We're even throwing away the, the verbiage sponsor. I mean, we're just throwing all of that away. We're business partners. Anywhere in my team, we are business partners. And I am here to slay this with the people who are ready to run with me. And I tell my team this lovingly, and you guys probably should tell your teams this too. I will run with my runners all day long. I will walk with my walkers. Those people who just kind of need to take a little bit longer to get into it. We all have different speeds. I will walk with my walkers. But if you came here to sit down, I won't sit with you. I won't sit with you, and I won't take the blame when you say, I don't have success because my upline didn't do this. My upline didn't do that. My upline did do this. My upline doesn't... I won't take that blame. I won't let you put it on me. If you chose to sit down, you know from the get-go, I won't sit with you. I will not sit with you. I did not come here to see my dreams pass me by. I didn't do that. I bought a business. I bought a business for a very specific reason. I'm changing my family's future. And I really hope that you guys feel the same way. Guys, have a gut check. Have a gut check. Are you connected with business partners? Are there some relationships that you might need to mend? As a leader, I am constantly mending relationships because I am human. I'm human. So please understand that, that your leaders are human. We are fallible. We are always learning just like you. We need communication just like you. And so I am constantly rebuilding relationships as I figure out, oh my goodness, I, sh I could have done this. This language with you would have been better here. Rebuild integrity, you guys. Rebuild integrity and build trust. Don't ever think, oh, it's too late. I burnt my team out. I treated them like employees. They're completely unplugged. They haven't done anything for six months. My team is dead. I'm either going to need to switch companies or I'm going to need to completely recruit. But these people are just, they're dead. They're done. They're duds. They're bl you can rebuild integrity. And a matter of fact, if you rebuild integrity with a team, you're going to come back stronger than you ever were. Stronger than you ever were. So take some, some soul searching. Whether you be the downline or the upline, soul searching. How are you treating your business? How are you treating your business? I want to challenge you all to treat it like a business. 
and treat the people around you like business partners. Mend some relationships if you need to. Restore integrity and get really laser focused and don't let this fourth quarter pass you by. Don't let this fourth quarter pass you by. Don't let it. This fourth quarter, I don't care where you are in the industry, it breeds lifers. It has people come to this industry that have never even considered it before. This is where the majority of the money is made. This is where businesses are changed. This is where businesses are bloomed. This is where professionals are made. Get your team together right now as a tribe to slay this opportunity. Don't let it pass you. All right, I'm going to go get ready because I got ready to get ready. Now it's time to get ready ready. That's how we do it in the South. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.